Hello everyone. After a long time, I'm restarting my common video flow. You may ask why I stopped making video. I will tell you some other day. Today, let's come to today's topic and I will try to make video every week from now on. So stay tuned. If you are not subscribed, please subscribe and please try to like because that is a motivation I really need. So let's start today's topic. Long ago, I made a video on linen. So there I I have given many detail. Today I am repeating the topic but in advanced manner. So let's start. Primarily, you all can see there are people who are so-called waiver or so-called wholesaler or retailer. The, the bundle of retailers, dozens of retailers, rather millions of retailers are there. Who all are saying 80 count linen, 100 count linen. Believe me, they all are illiterate. As we all know, we celebrate textile illiteracy. Somebody who is illiterate, uh, illiterate means illiterate in terms of textile. He or she always celebrate his or her illiteracy. Count is a relative density unit for cotton only. What is relative density unit? Through that we can understand it is thicker or thinner. So count is valid only for cotton yarn. Linen have its own unit called Li. So people who smartly use 100 count linen, 80 count linen, 60 count linen are all illiterate. Number one. I saw few who are claiming 120 count linen. So for them, I want to ask from where you got the yarn. Forget about the textile. The textile uh, in order to make textile you need yarn, right? So from where you got the yarn? In India, particularly in India, there is nobody, nobody selling or producing 120 li linen. So from where you got? Number three, there are people, again, illiterate. They are claiming organic linen. If you say natural linen, I can accept it. But organic, it needs certain parameter. Starting from the agricultural point of view. People who are claiming that they are giving organic linen, please feel free to ask them for the organic certification. And believe me, if you are buying from these people, you may be buying linen fabric or sari or stole or something like that for your business or for personal use. If you are buying from these kind of people, you are basically harming yourself. Let me explain you why. Primarily, this 120 count, 100 count organic linen, all this rubbish, these illiterates, whatever they are selling, their prices are all unbelievable. Yes, unbelievable. Believe me, linen is as expensive as cheaper mulberry silk. So, linen fabric should be as expensive as a cheaper mulberry silk fabric. But people are always providing, there are 350 rupees linen too, 
and 1500 rupees linen too within this big bracket all are not linen maybe they're remi remi is a kind of grass which is which which used to grow over china chinese don't use that i don't know why chinese don't use that they all dump it dump it to us in india and we all celebrate it as linen this is number one better option so far my knowledge is concerned any natural plant fiber any linen cotton jute any cannot be shiny without a chemical treatment but in case of linen if it is shiny no one is saying what chemical treatment they used over there and if there is no chemical treatment be very sure there are some artificial material so ultimately by supporting these fools you are basically harming yourself pure linen fabric is really good really breathable it have many benefits but if it is not pure then you don't know maybe it is harming you maybe it have some material with the net which may cause some allergy and as you know allergies can kill so from next time if you are buying linen it may be in wholesale it may be in retail be very very cautious that what you are buying and choose to have sellers who know that count is only for cotton not for linen so choose a literate seller and choose proper product with proper price i guess that will be healthy for you this is devil banerji signing off for now until we meet next week